What's up YouTube? Kristen Walter with the Mountain Dream Team here with some tips and pointers for your summer hiking even though I'm here in the winter and some of these hikes you can do in the winter. I know a lot of you are coming out to the mountains. You're worried about your athletic ability. You're worried about maybe altitude issues. Today I'm going to tell you 10 of my favorite easy hikes in Summit County. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go down in order just like we're on the Dave Letterman show. Easy hike number 10, starting at my sort of least favorite, but they're all pretty awesome. There's a spot on Swan Mountain Road between Dillon and Frisco where you can park at the trailhead and walk along a really easy road. If you have a dog, bring the dog super easy pretty much on any of these you can bring the dog just remember to obey the leash laws park at that trailhead and it's really easy to miss if you're not careful because people really speed around that part but the positive part about this trail is that it ends up into a bunch of other campgrounds but it's also very flat so you can go as long or as far as you would like if you get to the very end you're rewarded with being at Lake Dillon if you feel like you don't want to park at the trailhead because sometimes uh, that gate will be open, you can go a little farther down and park a little farther and then have a little bit shorter of a walk down to the lake. Easy hike number nine, Swan Mountain, Sapphire Point. So again, that crazy windy road between Dillon and Breckenridge right there at the high school, you would stop at Sapphire Point and there's actually a one mile loop around the point that's very easy, it's flat, if you're afraid of heights, this might not be the one for you, but the views are phenomenal. You could see down to Breckenridge, you can see down to Frisco, you could see the whole lake, and you could see over into Dillon as well. Easy hike number eight, Dillon Reservoir, or shall I say the old Dillon Reservoir. On the dam road between Frisco and Dillon, there's a tiny cutoff with a one mile hike up to a tiny little lake. Again, awesome views, easy, easy to find, easy to get to. The dogs love it. Number seven, in Breckenridge, I personally love. Again, that's easy to find as well. You head towards Breckenridge, hang a left, and then down on the left-hand side after some big houses, you'll see the signs. Again, go as long or as little as you would like. And if you have someone with you that is an awesome hiker, they can hike all the way uh, over to the next town over if they want to. The positive part is that you do have some water at the very beginning. So if you have a pupper that needs to get a drink, then that's great. And then it leads you out into this open field and up into these wonderful forests where the wildflowers are amazing. This one is a little bit harder than the other ones I've told you about, but again, just take it easy. Go at your own pace. You can go as little or as long as you would like and you would be going out and back. There's not a loop on this one. Hike number six, another one in Breckenridge. At the very top near the Grand Lodge, there is the beginning of what's called the Peaks Trail. It is, again, a place that you can park on the road and you go immediately into the forest. So if you're looking for the trees and the pines and a small track, a small trail that doesn't feel too heavily traveled, if you wanna just immediately be transported into the woods and that environment, go check that one out. There's some fun little wooden structures and teepees back in there that the kids will love. And it also goes right along the backside of some of the ski runs for Breckenridge. So if you feel like you're getting lost or you're too far away from things, you really can just go back to your car right away or pop right out onto the ski runs and walk back to the lodge if that's what you want. Okay. Hike number five, I'm gonna bring you back down to Frisco. This is a trail that I do year round. It's super easy. It's called Miner's Creek and it can lead you all the way up to Rainbow Lake. Now, I will say, this one can be a little bit strenuous because you are going uphill for the first part of it, but then it flattens out and then you can go up a little bit as well, uh, go up a hill a little bit as well. And just when you think you're probably gonna fall out from the altitude, you can make it to Rainbow Lake. And again, there's water running on it. It's a beautiful site. There's plenty of birds back there. In the fall, there's plenty of fall colors. And if for some reason you don't feel like being so strenuous to hike up Miner's Creek to Rainbow Lake, then I recommend you just go on the bike path. There is a bike path 
or we call it the Wreck Path, that goes all the way from Copper Mountain to Breck to Keystone to Dillon. But in this particular area in Frisco, if you park at the Miners Creek uh, Trailhead, you can walk up to the bike path that's usually plowed in the winter or at least it's padded down from other people going there. And you can walk a pretty flat spot all the way over towards the end of Main Street Frisco. So you're just sort of walking parallel on the backside of Frisco. And again, the views are gonna be amazing. You're gonna see peak one, you're gonna see fall colors, you're gonna see lots of locals, you're gonna see people cross country skiing, you're gonna see in the summer people biking. It's just a fun, easy path to walk, no matter what time of the year it is. So that's a bonus uh, number five for Frisco. I'm kind of combining the two, Miner's Creek up to Rainbow or Miner's Creek on the bike path. Easy hike number four, one of my favorites, one of the first ones that I discovered. It's a little bit farther out and it's in Silverthorne. You have to go north of Silverthorne a few miles and you're gonna be on a really fast highway. But if you slow down just before, you can cut off really quickly and park in the trailhead. This is a private ranch, but they give public access for the trails because it leads up to a larger trail that people will hike in the National Forest. Before I go on to easy hike number three and give you my top three, I want to ask you real fast, what are you looking for in an easy hike? Do you need somewhere you can bring the dogs really quickly? Do they need water? Do you want something that you can get away from at all? Do you want something that's easy to park at? Do you want something with a lot of people? or not too many people at all. Let me know in the comments below so I can try to give you some more tips on some other hikes in Summit County. Okay, my top three easy hikes in Summit County where you might find me out on the trail and you might find me with this one here, Miss Ruby, my dog. Number three, there is a trail at the bottom of Wilderness in Silverthorne. So you know how when you go to Silverthorne and you're going to the Lowe's, and then you go up to that neighborhood behind it and there's that long windy road. Before you take that first hairpin turn above Lowe's, like if you're going out of Lowe's and you go on the left road, there's a gas station there. Before you take that hairpin turn, if you just keep going straight, you're in a parking lot and you're on a trail that has water. And that trail goes for a really long time. It has sort of a um, steady incline. I would say it's not too strenuous, but you are climbing a little by little. So go check that one out. It's especially wonderful, again, if you're out in wilderness and you need a quick little hike. It's really nice. A lot of you who are staying in wilderness can actually get to that trail from your condo if you are in one of the condos on that side of Ryan Gulch Road. Easy hike number two, my top two hike. This one's gonna blow your mind if you have never seen a tiny little place called Montezuma that's not on the maps sometimes. It's just above Keystone. So you would go like you're going to Keystone, take Montezuma Road all the way up to the end. You're gonna cross a bridge. That's Peru Creek. You're gonna turn left into that parking lot that's the Peru Creek Trailhead. It's a flat road. It does have a little bit of an incline, but not much. There is some water if you go far enough down. There's campgrounds. There's even a couple of private houses out there. This is where the quintessential cabin in the woods can be found, the off-grid cabins. When you get to Peru Creek, you really need to be careful. It can flow really quickly, and you'll see that it has a funny little color because of the mines that uh, the water is coming from. So just be careful if you do have dogs uh, that they don't get caught in the fast water and that they don't drink too much of the water. Now, if you don't feel like parking at the Peru Creek Trailhead and you feel confident in your four wheel drive or all wheel drive Subaru capabilities, go ahead and take a drive up uh, Peru Creek Road. It can get really interesting back there. But again, super easy walk, super beautiful. You're in the middle of nowhere, not really good cell phone reception, huge, beautiful, giant trees. It really is very magical. 
and kind of a tucked away place that is fun to go see. And before or after you go on the hike, make sure you go look at the town of Montezuma, uh, the small town of Montezuma where a bunch of locals live. Uh, it's really quirky and you're really gonna love it. Okay, before I give you my favorite hike, my favorite easy hike in all of Summit County, I wanna ask you again, if you liked this video, click the like button. If you didn't, let me know. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see the next tip or trick I give you for hanging out in the mountains of Colorado. Okay, drum roll please. My favorite easy hike in Summit County is a little place where my first home was and it's called Keystone Gulch. All you have to do is go on the older part of Keystone at the first stoplight where the gas station is. You hang a right, you follow that road all the way down and then just after you pass the Keystone Gulch and Flying Dutchman bus stops on the right hand side, there's going to be a turn off to a dirt road that leads to a parking lot uh, down at the bottom and that's Keystone Gulch Trailhead. Again, it's forest service. There's signs at the front that tell you where you can camp, where you're not supposed to have a fire. Um, you know, it talks about the elk and the moose and the bear. Uh, there's a lot going on at Keystone Gulch Road. It is the back side, it is the service road for the resort. So in the winter time, you might be dealing with snow cats buzzing by you because they're bringing food up to the restaurant that's on the resort, or uh, they're doing some maintenance work uh, with their maintenance trucks. You might also come across some cross country skiers in the winter. But then in the summer, it's the same thing. You might have some cars going up and down there that are going camping or servicing the resort. Uh, but for the most part, it's really relaxing. There are mountain bikers there as well. Uh, so usually they're over on the trails that run parallel to this road, but um, it's really nice and easy. It's beautiful in the fall. The colors are amazing with the Aspen Grove right at the beginning. There is a slight slope at the beginning, but then it flats out, uh, it flattens out a little bit and there's a creek that runs alongside of it the whole way. Now, again, if you feel confident in your driving capabilities, you could drive all the way to the very top. I think it's about six miles to the very end to the back of Keystone. And it is just beautiful back there. But in terms of an easy hike, that's my favorite one. It's easy to get to. I know that I might see a bunch of animals out there. I know that I'm gonna see some people, but usually not. And if I feel like cutting over from the, the road, there is a trail that runs parallel on the other side of the creek. So if you're starting to feel like, oh, this is too easy, I'm getting my mountain legs beneath me, go check out the trail on the other side of Keystone Gulch Creek. That's it, that's all I have for you for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.